Here we take one mark. I feel like people know me, but they really don't know me. Though. You know, to a lot for a lot of people, this is probably gonna be the first time they ever heard me really speak. Hear the tone of my voice. How does he sound? We just hear him scream all the time. Let's go! At the start of 2020, Mario Judah was in a dark place. Dang. He'd been making beats for years, with no success. I can't find no rappers, bro. Broke and discouraged, he decided to try singing. Yeah. Last summer, he posted two songs on SoundCloud, the second of which, Die Very Rough, ended up reaching the top of Spotify's global viral chart. Countless memes, millions of views, and a Rolling Loud set followed, setting the stage for a new kind of rap rock star. With red hair, an unforgettable voice, and the knack for grabbing attention, he had everyone wondering, where the fuck is Mario Judah? We found him in the space between going viral and going mainstream. And he's doing it with no cosign. Second step. It's a bumper. Yeah! My guy. It was dope growing up in Georgia. All over Georgia. I didn't live in Atlanta, Cobb, Gwinnett. I didn't live in all type of places. It was just family vibes for real. Actually, um, like I had both my I had both my parents in my life, so I, I appreciate that. They split up when I was young though, but like one thing that I do appreciate about both my parents is that we always had like a good relationship with each other. This is the man that got me in the pan terror. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Um, how you doing? Good. <laughs> dad, you know what I'm finna say. Oh, man. When we were staying with our dad, the music we're listening to is Rock Him, Big Daddy Kane, El Cool J, Cool G Rap, The Heat Wave, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Like, that's what we're listening to when we were dad. You know what I'm saying? We're listening to all of the old school jams. You got face tats, man. Yeah, this is the first time you've seen them, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I, was, I saw the thing on YouTube, and I wondered what that was. Yeah. I didn't know. It's a guitar, yeah. Okay, so yeah. when you was a kid, yeah. you and your sisters, I made y'all promise me y'all wouldn't get <laughs> tattoos. All I remember from, like, fucking kindergarten to, like, fifth grade, I just remembered every day getting a spanking. I just couldn't get it together, bro. Like, I didn't, I just wasn't, I, I don't, I didn't give a fuck. Wait, what is all of this? Yeah, man. But so this is not coming off? No, nah, it's real. It's real. Huh, huh, huh. Really? <laughs> That's not coming off? No. <laughs> this, man. Ow! <laughs> Proud of you, man. Oh. This is where it all started at. It's a fact. This is where it all started yeah. at. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't want to work no job. No job. No job. No job at all. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I was just like, yeah, I'll do the military school. Shit's only six months. It was the hardest experience ever in my life, but I got through it. I did so well that I got accepted into this military college. And I did that for four months. And I, and I was going for welding. You know what I'm saying? So I got out of, out of the college trying to be a welder. And the day I got out, I just got introduced to music, like into like the program that I make beats on. It's called FL Studio. I got introduced to it immediately, and just started fucking around with it. Fell in love instantly, and was like, "Fuck everything, fuck what I went to college for. This is what I want to do." I brought the uh, the dime bag, the dime, the dime bag, bag. Daryl tribute guitar. R.I.P. Dime bag, man. R.I.P. Dime bag. Rest in peace, sir, my man. Pantera. I mean, I knew what metal was, obviously, because yeah. of video games and WWE shit. Like, to know that my dad was into it, I never, I thought he would, was playing around because he would talk about how he likes the shit. And I, this is, I'm talking about from when I was young. Like, from, I probably was like fourth grade or fifth grade when this was going on. He's telling me, yeah, I'm into this shit. And one day he just blasts this shit, like, loud as shit in the, in the car. And I'm like, oh, he's not kidding. He really into this shit. Yo, <laughs> this right here, this is crazy. This, it was Rockstar Jacket. My dad used to teach me, don't don't worry about trying to please people. Don't worry about like people's opinions and shit. Hopefully the world is ready because I'm I'm coming in hot. Man, where the fuck is Mario Judah? I, I, I'm a big dog, big bear, nigga. I'm a lion. I'm the predator of the prey that is hiding. 
Hey, Mario, how's it going? What's up? Hey. Jason. Pleasure, man. I'm Haley. I never answer your calls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're hard to reach, but I'm Haley. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice finally meeting you. Uh, we, we talked the first time, I think, on a, on a Zoom, but uh, it's nice to meet you again. So welcome to our spot. This is where we'll be handling a lot of stuff for you. I'm gonna take a look around. So this is the fulfillment. Everything is just stocked here and shipped from here. Anything you need, we kind of work out of here. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you the, the cool stuff Whoa. in our showroom. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is fun. These are some example pieces that we've done for other clients. Oh, and shit. we wanted to make sure we had some collars and chokers. So these were the fans? That we would hope to sell on your site. These are for, for the like, fans. Yeah, for the fans to wear. I mean, I'm still trying to process everything now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even being, even having this conversation with you, having these cameras look at me, like, you know, being on a, on a platform such as Complex. Like, bro, I remember not having a dollar to go to the gas station to buy a fucking cream cake. Cause I, I had like, did, I, it was bad for me. Like this, ju it, it was just like this a year ago. This was the spot that I used to sit down and grind all day and record songs and other people and stuff like that because I wanted to make it really bad. And I figured, you know what? If I go on the side of the street where there's cars passing and I'm recording outside, someone ought to take me serious. I'm gonna make a song about crushing my enemies. Yeah. Crush all of my enemies. Here's the thing about my music for the people who don't understand it. Let's talk about it a little bit. Cause this I can tell you, trying to figure out what my music is and what I'm creating, this is what I've gathered. I'm not a rapper for one. What I'm doing isn't a rap flow. It is a heavy metal slash rock flow. Hey man, where the fuck is Mario Judah? with my mom in in pops too like we we will hold motel hot bro like hotel to hotel we stayed at hotels for that for a year you know what i'm saying whatever how a lot of this transpired is me wanting to do music myself as a kid Keeping you guys in the music and trying to pursue that goal and yeah. to see you doing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, when you're pursuing music, you don't you don't think about a job or, you know, you just like I need to make it, that's and that's the mindset I was in. And you guys grew up in it, you know. Yeah. Having that whole career mindset to me, it, it didn't work in my head. When you when you when you have a plan, mm -hmm. you know, and um, it probably cost you guys some serious opportunities to be in you know the suburbs, but. I was passionate and I guess I passed the passion along because you're talented, you're talented and Thank you. you know, and look what it brought out. It brought out a serious, serious musician. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got into heavy metal a lot, a lot a year ago, exactly a year ago, because exactly a year ago is when I was writing hooks and shit as a producer trying to like figure out a different way to get in. And um, you know, I was depressed and shit. Being February, maybe a month later, that's when the COVID shit hit. So I was just depressed in a bad place and I needed something, some real music, some some emotion, you know what I'm saying? Metal, bro, their voices, the way those guys sing, like their voices are amazing. Like you can hear the pain and shit. Rockstar! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, like I'm still not signed. <laughs> I'm still not signed, bro. I have a distribution through Atlantic, but that's it. Like, I'm not, like, I don't know. I'll be thinking about that, like, damn, like, this shit is happening organic. 
Uh, I was up all night on my stream one night, and my brother kept saying the song in the mic, and they showed me a shit in the car. I'm like, yo, this shit really sound like rock. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. That's Thank you, bro. I'm already know you. Like, people really doing this. Like, these are real people who, who follow me and fuck with me. Like, that's a lot to me. Well, what I say myself in the next few years, I'll answer that. A rock star, a legend, you know? Uh, someone who, who broke down the doors and said, fuck that. So that's what I want to do, just inspire millions of people with the music. Go back. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, you shake your drinks. Yeah. 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 Rockstar family.